Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Join our Facebook group, Discovering Newfoundland. This morning we're here with Michelle Penny Rowe, a local artist here in Carbonier. I'm an artist here in Carbonier. I've been painting for 20 plus years. I've gotten to know a lot of people in the community and uh, I've kind of grown and developed a community in itself for other artists to come and hang out and teach and do some things. Um, we kind of have a new adventure this summer. Uh, we've uh, recently purchased this absolutely gorgeous property here in Crocker's Cove, a real historic piece. And instantly, uh, myself and my husband thought, oh, this is too beautiful not to share. So we, we do the B&B, &B, but uh, weekly, we have groups of artists that come and they paint and they enjoy a little lunch and just kind of, you know, use the space as their own. Um, we've done several different angles, the point, the, the islands, the rose bushes, the cherries, you know, there's just, it's endless. This, this property just keeps giving back and we've just outreached to our friends and we, we'd like to, for it to go a little further, something that's not going away, so. We we'll have to keep communicating the uh, creativity and, you know, let this grow into something beautiful. I'm Diane Harris. Um, I've been painting about three and a half years. Started with Michelle in uh, acrylics. I also paint in oils. I've done uh, a fair number of paintings. Uh, I just love it. I'm a retired uh, teacher. Oh, nice. And after 37 years, and I found this to do in my retirement, and I love it. Rock sandwich. Been painting now for about um, five years, maybe, and three years at oils. It's the Sandra Jason boat up in Bay Roberts. Been working on this one for a while. Took a break because I went googly eyed. Ah. But <laughs> <laughs> this little section here now, and a little detail on the white. That'll be done. You know, this is where it all started. Mr. and Mrs. Evely, you know, 105 years ago, they had this piece of property and they were living off the water and they were, but everything here has a purpose. Like where the plants are, there. I mean, the cherry trees, the currants, the, you know, they lived off of this land. And I had learned that it left the family, they sold it, and one of the gentlemen who grew up here as a child retired here and the house was for sale. Like he purchased it back mm -hmm. from whoever and he died here. Like this is, you know, he stayed, he retired, he stayed. And his family now, his wife, and um, his two children and grandchildren, they watch every video that I post. It's just they can see home, and I'm like, yeah, if you come back this way, definitely come by. I still have his books. There's books that they left behind, like to, uh, to Fred from, you know, whoever. So I don't know, it's just kind of cool. <laughs> of course, I've had my art students. I've been teaching professionally uh, for 13 years. I've been painting much longer than that. You know, it just keeps evolving, and this is this just feels really natural <laughs> and nice to, you know, to kind of have this and do this here. We're at the Workstore Museum in Carbonier. After the summer sessions, the artists have displayed their artwork here for the weekend. Yep, so we've come by to check it out. There's some beautiful pieces here.
if you're interested in maybe joining the group for next summer sessions, reach out to Michelle Pennyrope.